feel like you have to see the movie and it's really sad. that one song. Watch, it'll work. You all will do it. I'll just start going. Durarara. Durarara. Hello, Wicked Anime here with uh, Daryl Gilbo, um, from most recently known from Durarara. And uh, you have worked in a bunch of animes that uh, are some of my favorites, including Samurai Champloo, Higurashi, and now Marvel vs. Capcom 3, where you play Beautiful Joe, which is Jonathan's character. He one of his characters, so. Yeah. So. So that's really fun. Yeah. So um, let's start off by saying, uh, how long have you been in the industry for? Well, uh, I, you know, I've been acting for a long time, mm -hmm. uh, probably since, believe it or not, the 80s. And then I stopped for a while, moved to Hong Kong, of okay. all places. Came back to LA, started acting again around the year 2000, and started doing voiceovers, I think, around 2006. Okay. Very good. Um, so, as an anime voice actor, what is an anime voice actor's favorite anime? What is your favorite anime? Uh, right now, Durarara. Is it? <laughs> well, I love it. I mean, I just love being in that one. But you know, yeah. you said Samurai Champloo, mm -hmm. and I was only in two episodes of it, but I really like the anime a lot. Yeah, I love the, just the whole storyline, the animation of it, how beautiful it looks, the characters, the music. Yeah. You know, it's got a really cool vibe, so hey, I great. like that one a lot. Mm -hmm. Now, um, and I love all the Miyazaki movies. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, who doesn't? Yeah, I mean, they're, they're, they're classic. Gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, so, one of the things that I, I, I thought of uh, was, um, <laughs> what was it like to realize the first time you had fans? People who were oh, fans yeah. of your voice. Yeah. What was that like? Very strange. Is, um, yeah. It's still strange to me. Uh -huh. you know, I feel like, oh, why am I signing this? Or, you know? Yeah. Um, you know, I still clean my toilets. <laughs> you, yeah. know? you know, it's just kind of funny. Uh, well, I mean, the first time uh, I had found out about, I was doing uh, voiceovers a couple of years, I guess, and then I found out about these conventions. Yep. And I had a friend who was doing conventions who was also a voice actor, and I just kind of emailed him, I think, one day, and I said, you know, what's all this about? Mm -hmm. What are these conventions? And he told me, he said, oh, you go, and you meet the fans, and you sign autographs, you do panels, um, you know, all kinds of things go on there, okay. So I... He told me to go on the uh, this con you know, website, okay. you know, to find them, and then just send a letter to guest representation or whatever, and to see if you could be a guest. Okay. So my very first one was actually a con in Dallas. All right. Which was huge, huge. So I was completely like overwhelmed and like I couldn't believe you know what was going on. And um, thank God there were a lot of other voice actors there, like Caitlin Glass, I think was there, Vic yep. Mignogna, okay. that year, so, you know, many, many people. Um, so it was great experience because then I could see what really happens. And I remember at the voice panel, there were, you know, we were all in this row, and I was the newbie, so I wasn't as known, you know. Yeah. But it was great because they they were asking them all these questions, so I could kind of say, oh. Okay, this is what it's about. And so as I kept doing more and more, I became more, you know, familiar with it and enjoy it, you know, definitely enjoy it more. I'm not nervous because now yeah. I, I you know what the fans are about and everything and I love talking to them. Yeah, fans are very appreciative yeah. of your work because yeah. We know that you put so much effort into making you know, shows that somebody has already made and and already put a voice to that you know, you have to make your own. Make, yeah, make it your own and do a really, really good job. And and we really appreciate it when you know we're, we're getting good product from people. And and that's that's what I think is just amazing about what voice actors do. You know, and the other thing was um, just you know, just like I said, when when we do it, you know, I was doing it for a few years, and then you do it, then it's gone. And you're like, you don't even know what happens to it. Mm -hmm. Who sees it? Does yeah. anyone see it? <laughs> you know? And so this always gives us an opportunity when we go out wherever we are in the country or in the world even, that, wow, people have seen what I've done. Mm -hmm. You know, I've been in this little studio in Burbank, California, yep. and here I am in Orlando, and these people have seen it, and they appreciate it. So for us, it's, you know, it's a big, it's a big deal, because, like, it's different, you know, you do live theater. Yeah. You get the immediate response. Yeah. Because you, people are clapping, they've seen the show, you're one-on-one, -on -one, you know, they yeah. see your character. But if you do a film or voice or anything like that, you have no clue what the audience is thinking. So yeah. this gives me an opportunity to see, you know, get the reactions. That's a really great perspective. Yeah. That is. Um, so uh, is there anything you're working on currently right now that you can talk about? Um, 
I wish. Well, <laughs> actually, I've auditioned for a few things, so nothing right now. I am <laughs> gonna be a, I'm gonna be a Lego friend when I get back to LA. So it's not anime, but I, I do have some work on that. Okay. Um, I did do an interesting project uh, that's Star Trek related. Okay. Uh, and a, a new web series called Star Trek Continues. Okay. Uh, actually, Vic Mignogna is in it as Ooh. Captain Kirk. Oh wow! Uh, Grant, really? Yeah, Grant Imahara from MythBusters mm -hmm. is uh, Sulu. Okay. Uh, Chris Doohan, who is James Doohan's son, is actually playing his father's role, Scotty. Wow. Yeah, and it's going to be very interesting. I'm recreating a character that was in the very last episode of the very last Star Trek ever film. Okay. The television series. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's going to be interesting. So you can Google it or whatever. Star Trek continues. Wow. Um, All right. Well, thank you very much. I think that's My all the pleasure. questions we have for now. It was a pleasure talking oh, to you, Daryl. talking to you. I really thank appreciate you. it. Thank you very thank much. You. Uh, I'll do two from the most current. One a video game and one Durao. Yes. So I'll try and do Mikado. Let's see if I can get to his little head. Um. <clears throat> Hi, Henri. You look really good today. You're boobylicious. I mean, you're not boobylicious. <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. Oh, so me. Why did you make me say that? So, that's always the embarrassing thing. Um, let's see if you know this one. If any of you are video game, anyone Marvel vs. Capcom 3 play? Woo! Okay, let's see if you know who this is. Um, You're a real hero? For real? Anyone know? know Beautiful Joe! Joe. Yeah! yeah. Boomerang! Red Hot Kick! <laughs> so he's fun to do. That's right. 